This is by far the biggest ovation anyone has received here in this opening session of the Democratic Convention. The first time the convention has really come alive on this first night. From Barbara Jordan, Congresswoman from Texas. of Houston, Texas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for a very warm reception. It was 144 years ago that members of the Democratic Party first met in convention to select a presidential candidate. Since that time, Democrats have continued to convene once every four years and draft a party platform and nominate a presidential candidate. And our meeting this week is a continuation of that tradition. But there is something different about tonight. There is something special about tonight. What is different? What is special? I, Barbara Jordan, am a keynote speaker. years passed since 1832, and during that time it would have been most unusual for any national political party to ask a Barbara Jordan to deliver a keynote address. But tonight, here I am. And I feel, I feel that notwithstanding the past, that my presence here is one additional bit of evidence that the American dream need not forever be deferred. But now, now that I have this grand distinction, what in the world am I supposed to say? I could easily spend this time praising the accomplishments of this party and attacking the Republicans, but I don't choose to do that. I could list the many problems which Americans have. I could list the problems which cause people to feel cynical, angry, frustrated. Problems which include lack of integrity in government, 
the feeling that the individual no longer counts, the reality of material and spiritual poverty, the feeling that the grand American experiment is failing or has failed. I could recite these problems and then I could sit down and offer no solutions, but I don't choose to do that either. The citizens of America expect more, deserve and they want more than a recital of problems. We are a people in a quandary about the present. We are a people in search of our future. We are a people in search of a national community. We are a people trying not only to solve the problems of the present, unemployment, inflation, but we are attempting on a larger scale to fulfill the promise of America. We are attempting to fulfill our national purpose to create and sustain a society in which all of us are equal. Throughout, throughout our history, when people have looked for new ways to solve their problems and to uphold the principles of this nation, Many times they have turned to political parties. They have often turned to the Democratic Party. What is it? What is it about the Democratic Party that makes it the instrument the people use when they search for ways to shape their future? Well, I believe the answer to that question lies in our concept of governing. Our concept of governing is derived from our view of people. It is a concept deeply rooted in a set of beliefs firmly etched in the national conscience of all of us. Now, what are these beliefs? First, we believe in equality for all and privileges for none. This is a belief, this is a belief that each American, regardless of background, has equal standing in the public forum, all of us. because we believe this idea so firmly, we are an inclusive rather than an exclusive party. Let everybody come. You know, I think it no accident that most of those immigrating to America in the 19th century identified with the Democratic Party. We are a heterogeneous party made up of Americans of diverse backgrounds. We believe that the people are the source of all governmental power, that the authority of the people is to be extended, not restricted. This, this can be accomplished only by providing each citizen with every opportunity to participate in the management of the government. They must have that. We believe. We believe that the government which represents the authority of all the people, not just one interest group, but all the people, has an obligation to actively underscore actively, seek to remove those obstacles which would block individual achievement, obstacles emanating from race, sex, economic condition. The government must remove them, seek to remove them.
We. We are a party. We are a party of innovation. We do not reject our traditions, but we are willing to adapt to changing circumstances when change we must. We are willing to suffer the discomfort of change in order to achieve a better future. We have a positive vision of the future founded on the belief that the gap between the promise and reality of America can one day be finally closed. We believe that. This, my friends, is the bedrock of our concept of governing. This is a part of the reason why Americans have turned to the Democratic Party. These are the foundations upon which a national community can be built. Let all understand that these guiding principles cannot be discarded for short-term political gains. They represent what this country is all about. They are indigenous to the American idea, and these are principles which are not negotiable.